So next problem is 2x plus 3y equals 12 and x plus y equals positive 5. So ang gagawin po natin dito is i-treat natin ito ng first equation and ito naman yung second equation. So our first equation is 2x plus 3y equals 12 and second equation is x plus y equals 5. So sa mga previous na examples natin, so ang y yung madalas nating tinatanggal. Ngayon naman is itry natin na yung y yung ating isolve. So ang gagawin natin dito is tatanggalin naman natin yung ating x. So kailangan tanggalin nyo yung x para masolve natin yung y. So sa second equation is mas madali na ipakita natin yung ating x. So ang gagawin natin is x equals 5 and then minus 5. So napansin nyo agad na yung x natin is equivalent siya sa 5 minus y. So ngayon is pwede na natin isubstitute yung ating 5 minus y sa ating first equation. Ang gagawin natin is 2 times 5 minus y plus 3y equals positive 12. So, ang ginawa lang natin is sinubstitute natin yung 5 minus y sa x ng ating first equation. So, sinubstitute natin yung x. So, napansin yun na wala na po tayong x. So, ngayon is naka in terms na siya ng y. So, dating gawin sa pag-solve, so, 2 times 5 is equivalent to positive 10. And, 2 times negative y is equivalent to negative 2y. And then, plus 3y equals 12. So, next step is combining like terms. So, negative 2y plus 3y is equivalent to positive 1y or y. And equals 12. And then, itra-transfer natin yung positive 10 sa ating left right side sa magiging negative 10. So, so y is equivalent to positive 2. So, nasolve po natin ang y equals positive 2. Ngayon, pwede na natin gamitin yung y equals positive 2 to solve our x. So, ang gagawin natin is mamimili kayo kung anong gusto nyo gamitin, yung first equation or second equation. So, para sa akin, mas magandang gamitin yung second equation. So, gagawin po natin is substitute natin sa second equation. So, x plus y which is yung positive 2 and then equals 5. So, x is x equals 5 minus 2. So, 5 minus 2 is equivalent to 3. So, our solution and our problem is y equals 2 and x equals positive 3. So, next is y equals 3x plus 1 and then 4y equals 12x plus 3. So, ito po yung ating first equation and then ito naman yung ating second equation. So, mapapansin nyo na pwede na natin agad-agad na substitute yung 3x plus 1 sa ating second equation. So, ang gagawin natin is so substitute natin yung 3x plus 1 sa ating second equation na 4y equals 12x plus 3. So, 4 times y which is 3x plus 1. And then equals 12x plus 3. So, 4 times 3x is equivalent to 12x. And then, 4 times 1 is positive 4. So, equals 12x plus 3. So, ngayon is pwede na natin i-transfer or i-combine yung mga like terms. So, ang gagawin natin is 12x. 12x equals and 3 minus 4. So, ang ginawa natin dito is transfer natin yung 12x sa ating left side and, yun, and then yung 4 is sa right side. So, 12x minus 12x is of course equivalent to 0 and equals 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And napapansin nyo na ang 0 is not equivalent to negative 1. So, ibig sabihin na no solution. 
wala po tayong solution sa ating second problem. Ibig sabihin, ang zero equals negative 1 is hindi natin na-satisfy or hindi natin nakita yung point of intersection ng y equals 3x plus 1 and 4y equals 12x plus 3. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po nag-meet yung ating two equation. So, ibig sabihin, there is no solution in our problem. Ang karamihan na cases dito is ones na parallel yung ating linear equations. So, sometimes sa mga students na na-encounter ko, so once na nakakita kayo ng mga kantong case, ibig sabihin wala po tayong solution na mahanap sa ating problem. So, hindi po pwedeng sabihin na ang solution natin dito is zero. Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin na negative one. So, ngayon is try natin yung last example. So, negative 5x plus y equals negative 2. And then, second equation is negative 3x plus 6y equals negative 12. Split po natin ito as first equation. Nito naman is yung ating second equation. Is of course, mamili kayo kung ano yung gusto nyong gamitin na equation nyo. Then, kayo na rin bahala kung anong gusto nyong in terms. Kung in terms of x or in terms of y. But, remember, na the same pa rin yung madi-derive na answer sa ating problem. But, isang ang importante is proper and correct yung solutions and process na ginagawa natin sa pagsusolve ng ating problem. So, try na lang natin na yung first equation yung ating gamitin. So, pwede natin itira yung y and then equals negative 2 plus 5x. So, ang ginawa ko dito is transfer ko yung negative 5x para matira yung y sa ating left side. So, ngayon is nag-derive tayo sa y equals negative 2x plus 5x. Ngayon, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating um, new equation para isubstitute natin sa ating second equation. And this new equation is we are going to substitute to our second equation. So, ang gagawin natin is isubstitute natin yung negative 2 plus 5x sa y ng ating second equation. So, yan po yung problem or yan po yung process na gagawin natin. So, first is So, paano yan nag-work? So, of course So, we have negative 3x and then plus 6 times our y which is negative 2 plus 5x and then equals copy negative 12. Ang ginawa natin is sinubstitute natin yung negative 2 plus 5x sa y ng ating second equation. So, next step is negative 3x. So, next is positive 6 times negative 2 is equivalent to negative 12. And then, 6 times positive 5x is equivalent to positive 30x and equals negative 12. So, ngayon is magkakombine tayo ng like terms, yung negative 3x plus 30x, and then itra-transform natin yung negative 12 sa right side. So, negative 3x plus 30x is equivalent to 27x and equals negative 12 plus 12. Since, once na transform natin, yung negative 12 sa ating right side is mag-change yung sign niya na negative into positive. So, next step is 27x equals negative 12 plus 12 is equivalent to 0. And then, divide both sides by 27. Makakancel to. So, matitira sa ating solution is x equals 0. Since 0 divided by 27 is equivalent to 0. So, 0 divided by any number is always 0. And yung 0 is pwede na natin gamitin to solve our y value. So, depende na rin sa inyo kung anong gusto nyo gamitin na equation. First equation or second equation. So, try na lang natin gamitin yung ating first equation. So, mas maganda or mas madaling tingnan. So, gagawin natin is negative 5 times our x which is 0 and then plus y equals negative 2. So, negative 5 
times 0 is equivalent to 0 and then plus y equals negative 2. Therefore, y is equivalent to negative 2. So, our solution in our problem is x equals 0 and y equals negative 2. Therefore, our solution is 0 and negative 2. So, pwede nyo rin i-check kung tama yung ating solution. So, so yun guys. I hope na naintindihan nyo yung solving linear equation in two unknowns using substitution method. So, I hope guys, you like it. Thank you for watching. God bless!